to show you my morning routine because you've already seen that twice. Don't need to show it again. But I'm on the road now. It's ten past eight. And it's raining. Well no shit, you can see me wearing a coat. But yeah. I'll show you more stuff again. Probably get uh, better shots in here because it's literally just me recording myself walking and stuff. And you'll see a couple of other faces. Come on, Josh, join our side. <laughs> Yes, stoners on this side. <laughs> stoners on this side. Yeah. This is your title, okay? So come back down. This house believes all, all drugs can be in the middle, okay? This side over here, uh, believes uh, no stays in. Okay, so, uh, okay. Stay 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 so you might have seen them moving during this bit, okay? Now they sway over to one side of the other, these are going to count them and see how they've moved, okay? Or they might stay the same, might, might not be convinced, okay? There's your, uh, there's your there, okay? If, yeah, if you think all drugs from here, they're going to just tell you something to slip the back of the piece, right? <laughs> legal life, legal life. Yes. Oh, no. Noah, Noah, stoners on this side. Okay, right, so just the, just the rules of the bait then, okay? So the rules of the bait are, it's very lovely people in the, in the chamber, so uh, the rules of the bait are this, that, that um, if, if you agree, you shout here and here for your side, okay? Uh, if you disagree, you just say sort of murmur, that's fine, okay? Um, you need to, you do one thing, there's a lot of people in the, in the in the room here, so just make sure you listen to each person as they do it, okay? We're going to start off with this argument, it might work its way down though to legalizing one drug, okay, maybe cannabis, something like that. But we'll start off with this here, that uh, this house believes all drugs to be made legal. Some people believe they should have as many rights as possible, okay, that the government should not intervene, there should not be laws, and it should be up to you guys uh, to make uh, your own choices, okay? Some people believe that, no, you need to have laws, you need to have rules, because if you don't, society could go uh, up to the left. <coughs> All right, so do we have an open argument on this side? Tell me, why would you stand on that side to start with? 
That's, is that what's that you're eating? It's not something It's bog bread. <laughs> I think drugs, all drugs should be legal because it's safer. Regulated. Surely we should make all drugs legal because one of the highest killers is a no, like their hast, yeah. is a uh, prescription drug, <laughs> which yeah. is uh, paracetamol. If you you can overdose on that, and uh, if you take you're only allowed eight pills a day, so if you can overdose on that, and it's legal, should we not also legalize illegal drugs? Okay, good point. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Drugs okay. such as cannabis should be legalized. To be legalized. Why? Because it helps people with arthritis and diseases. Okay, so some drugs have a disability. Yeah, okay. uh, Robbie? When you force something underground, you're, you're, there's no regulation. Like, there's no um, sort of rules that well, are in production of the drugs. So okay. They pump it full of all this rubbish, basically. And you know it's really, really unhealthy. But when you think it's being strong in its purest form, obviously it might affect it obviously affects your mind and body. But um under small amounts and you know, regulated amounts through a pharmaceutical company when they can see how much you're you're taking, um, you know, it's much safer and people are always gonna do it. When you take away the rebellious nature of drugs, yeah. you take away yeah. The amount of people that just want to go, oh, let's take all these drugs and get them. Okay, so that's it. And then that ends to the being very bad drugs and kind of like contaminated drugs as well. Yeah. It? It's not regulated. So when you legalize drugs and regulate them, you improve the quality, you raise a lot of taxes for the government, and VAT is, you know, I think it's quite fair. Okay. So, but, um, so I think it can, especially with the NHS, people who take the drugs, if they have drug related illnesses, the NHS, um, they, they've already paid a huge amount of taxes for the drugs, and the NHS obviously gets that money. Okay, can you guys come to that? What do you think, too? <coughs> well, obviously, some drugs have good, like, good side effects. And like good what? Medicine. How do you know this? <laughs> I actually, when you, search, when you put up the cannabis thing, I searched up okay. like what uses cannabis has. And Hopefully, you didn't do this in school because it'll come back to your account. Like, <laughs> 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 um, but, like, that's just some drugs, not all drugs. Okay, okay. Good points. You don't know this. You don't need to go get the health penalty. Okay. Uh, uh, Zach. 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 Yep. We're here saying about paracetamol. Yep. And we've seen the effect that legalising some medicine can do, and so many people are committing suicide with it. So if we are legalising these harder drugs, how many more people are going to be then dying as a result? Because stuff like ketamine, you know, you can't die from taking that. Yeah. And for legalising it, and so on at the age of 18, it's just going to then. Of suicide and stuff are going to be much higher. Okay, good point. I'm going to go here first. I mean, arguably, there's already people doing that. There's a dark figure in the Boys, all right, all right. Guys, you, you have to listen because we, we can't hear, okay? You have to listen because that's how you want to count the points. Good. Well, arguably, there are people underage who are already taking these drugs, already overdosing, you just don't know. And there is like a dark figure in the ground that you just don't know how the unreported crimes are going on. And not only by not legalizing drugs, you still. Providing, you know, um, what's called crack gangs to unlock, you know what I mean? They just let crime gangs. So, is this a bit like prohibition in the United States where, yeah. like, they ban alcohol and then gangs actually yeah. rose because of it? I mean, you know. Okay, good point. Anna? Um, I want to come to Robin on your point where you said Ooh. it was like, you said it'd be more safer if there's some along those lines, it'd be more safer if they were just so, like, all prescription, but you don't think that would lead to, like, an increase in. Drug dealing, unlike drug dealers, because if people. No, but, no, but if people. If you get a drug ad, um, they could. They wouldn't want that to be. Same thing with me, like lots of people. Yeah, but then they'd still be less. They'd be less drug dealers because they're. Cartels use basically selling drugs with this most profitable sort of income for them, early stage. Yeah. Uh, once they have enough money, they can move into stuff like human trafficking, drug, uh, gun running, and all that. So, yeah. for cartels, it's sort of starting. Yeah. So it's like one of their keys. So if you take that out, yeah. they're they're like a good eighty percent of their funding. Okay. Just so it's basically pulling the block out of the wall, yeah. and make it all take down. Okay. Good point. I think. 
In reality, our job's really that good. So if you believe so, then yeah, okay, go ahead and them. But like, it's more how people like to rebel against society for them. If you were able to go into your shop and be like, here, can I have like a bag of coke or whatever? It like takes away the whole like excitement behind it. So you think by being bound then, it's kind of like gives a lure to them? Yeah, it's like you go in, you pay like 30 quid or whatever, and then you come out and you get a rubbish high, and then you're like, okay, that was absolutely bad, but I'm gonna do it again. What happens to that high that can kill you? What happens to that first time? You say it's ketamine and say it's. Yeah, but like if, but say you went into a shop and you were buying it, they're not gonna give. Yeah, boy, back from school, you got to see Debate Club, and my friends, well, my friend Noah, dabbing, hopefully, and uh, I'm going to tell you something about my sign language class that I had today. We learned what Germany is. Here's what it is. No, 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 that's not what it is. It is, uh, that. Yeah. See? Nice, clear day. Might be wondering why I'm still in my coat. Well, that's because it was raining earlier. And yeah. Something up on the screen saying AE lock. Don't know what that is. I suppose it just means, uh, focus. Oh, yes, focus. Very bright out today. And uh, releasing that song cover. I mean, come on, you all want to see it, right? I were approaching what I showed you this morning, but didn't really get that much of a clear view on it. And yet again, another day in the life for Zach. Uh, let's see. I'm not too sure what to say. I'll come up with something. Well, I suppose I got some coursework that I handed in earlier. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you what I was supposed to show you earlier, but it's too cloudy. Ready for the grand reveal? Ta-da! Perfect view of the mountains. Oh look, that might that actually might be the Black Mountain. Hit hell. Yeah, as I was saying, I had to do my coursework. It was at my sign language class for the last two periods of the day. Very fun. Is that debate club? Oh, study. I was looking up Halloween stuff and I managed to talk to uh, some people in the year above me. Some of them, well, I mean, they like Halloween as well. There's so much, like, there's so much at my school that I'm not really too sure about. But I will say this. The school does not know really that much about mental, uh, learning disabilities, I guess you could say. There's this whole event with my sister that, uh, uh I just don't want to go for it. So, she has something called dyspraxia, which, uh, disturbs her balance, won't, won't be able to really tell the difference between left and right, and stuff like that. The teachers that she is taught by only believe that dyspraxia affects her in PE. Like, really? No, it doesn't. Dyspraxia affects lots of things. It's just like, it's in the same family as dyslexia, dysgraphia. So, if they're saying dyspraxia only affects PE, I really think they should re-educate themselves.
In fact, there was this one point whenever they told me They told me and accused me of having autism, which I don't have. And I think that's actually really disrespectful, not to me, but to my friends and to people I know who actually have autism. To accuse someone like me of just being your typical student. Well, I say that, but I don't mean student. To accuse me, a typical boy, of having autism, yeah, that's pretty... Ugh. So, in first year, which is when they told they accused me of having autism, I never put the odor in thought. I, uh, I was the... Uh, smelled the B.O. I didn't really like wearing deodorant. And what let me put this. Oh crap, now it's upside down. I'll be right back. Alright, this might be better. Because now the microphone's on the other side. Oh yeah. Say the school was accusing me of autism first year. I just never really wear deodorant because I didn't really want to. Stuff like that. Right. You know how you know how guys are. Or what your stereotypical view of a guy is. Yeah, that was me in first year. And I eventually had to go in and get checked out from my local GP. And he even said, yeah, you don't have autism. You're just your typical boy. And, uh, grew up started growing up, started uh, noticing girls, if you know what I mean, and I started actually wanting to be more, have more of a personal hygiene, and to be honest, I think it's best that way, because there's it got up to the point that sometimes whenever I, start, whenever I started smelling B.O. off of myself and now I'm actually terrified to go without deodorant. I actually clench my arms up whenever I, whenever I don't have deodorant on. And in third year, I started, I started doing it more often, but uh, it kind of became a chore. And now it's not. It's kind of more like somebody, it's daily routine. It's like a habit. And yeah. Well, I suppose I'll end the vlog here. I got a song cover to do. And guess what? We are, I'm so close to 200 subscribers. Only nine more, and I'm at 200. So, thank you for supporting my content. Thank you for enjoying it and uh, allowing me to want to upload more. So, see you in the next vlog and the two Halloween videos I have to upload today. Bye.